one, no need to run from the truth We need to come to understand Ephesians 1 We see in love the Father predestined We seem to have a problem with the doctrine of election We keep stressing and leave guessing Leading to depression because it's God's love we question We'll sit back and take a deep breath and exhale Let's set sail, the word of God is refreshing Let's be real with it The Bible obviously talks about predestination So we gotta deal with it I'll be your fake attorney by his grace and mercy and present my case So let's take a journey for the sake of learning First turn to Romans 8, 28 through 30 Zooming in on verse 29, read the first line Those who ain't for new, he also predestined to be conformed to The image of his son, exhibit number one People try to use an argument, like a common sense Concerning the foreknowledge of God, thinking the logic fits Do the saying, he looked out into the future ages With illumination, seeing all that with true salvation And those men were chosen by God cause they chose him but that's not what the passage has spoken it says those before knew he predestined if he foreknew everybody is everyone predestined is everyone his object of affection if so what's the point of the doctrine of election it's spiritual but let me make it plain so you see the miracle and praise his name instead of taking his grace in vain it isn't complicated we all evaded the God that made us and traded in his truth for a lie worshiping what God created more than God who was glorified corroborated our death our lives are an abomination But if the Father's aim is to bestow mercy Then it's not to say that he was obligated But that God is gracious It's God's enemies we deserve to be crushed We're dirty enough to be eternally cursed And turn into dust And if he did it, he would be perfectly just To murder me, but he decided to show mercy to us I didn't choose God, God chose me Gave me a new heart And it wasn't because I was holy But if I chose G-O-D Then God owes me The only reason I first walked through them church doors is Psalm 65 verse 4 Why do I know God? Matthew 11 27 says it best in Those that have been predestined Keep pressing, it's a deep message I only see blessing in election I'ma see the blessing, no it's not even a question How God in his perfection wrote the doctrine of election yeah, God in his perfection wrote the doctrine of election Cause he's sovereign, there's no question And they got some people stressing But no option but election Can account for our protection Godly direction, nor perfected bodily resurrection Yo, don't let the thinking of modern men fool Ya. God does what he wants, that's what it means to be sovereign ruler It's deep and not complicated, with complete confidence I'll state it Peep it, it's how God has always operated He's the greatest fam, his amazing plan made his hand Saved the man Abraham from a pagan land Who can argue with the people that God chooses? Israel and not Egypt, Peter and not Judas Humanly speaking, it should have been Saul and not David The inheritance should have been Esau's and not Jacob The truth it speaks rightly so you can see rightly A huge mighty God who chooses is the least likely still some contested as a phony doctrine but if we're really dead in sin predestination is the only option yeah. with reservations they fume inside this hesitation because it's devastating to human pride hey. this truth is the sober kind that you're prone to find in passages like romans 9 is so divine it'll blow your mind we are the clay and we've been formed by the potter none can come to the sun unless they're drawn by the father but god draws everybody that's what some cats say it can't be that way because all who are drawn are raised on the last day because of original sin and all of our despicable deadness within election must be unconditional then yeah, some yeah. people say that we were drowning in the ocean barely floating until god threw us the rope then our free will helped us as we grow our faith is the hand that grabbed the rope and god put us back in the boat no without apology i deny that analogy reality we were dead at the bottom of the sea i was a swollen corpse with hope no more till jehovah the lord dove from the shore to the ocean floor yeah i was a corpse and i smelt like it. I'll keep it simple, why did God choose me? Because he felt like it He brought me out, not an act of my volition Breathed life into my lungs and didn't ask for my permission Throughout the Bible, there's major examples of this Pages of passages like the raising of Lazarus Rather than debating the master's gift We should be happily praising his magnanimous saving of savages It's time we see God's sovereignty and his primacy His holy dynasty, running things by divine decree Why does he choose some and not others to see Jesus? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Please, please.